Hello everyone, welcome to this unboxing video for Unstable Unicorns. And since it's such a small game, we're gonna cram the extra stuff from Kickstarter into this video too. Unstable Unicorns is a card game that was kicks uh, by the, I don't know if it's the primary artist or by the company that does um, Tea Turtle, Turtle Tea, where I get a lot of my t-shirts, these guys. Um, they do a lot of cute and comical kind of things. Um, one of the primary t-shirt sites I go to. And they put out a card game called Unstable Unicorns. Build a unicorn army, betray your friends. Unicorns are your friends now. Um, honestly, this got a lot of attention and everything. The art is great. Like, there's an example on the back. Um, and it just seems so many levels of awesome. FYI, this is the Kickstarter special edition box. Uh, to my knowledge, it's the same exact contents. It's not like the Exploding Kittens where the box meows and it was the not safe for work. There is a not safe for work expansion, or as they put it, uncut unicorns, um, as well as a few other small ones. There's very uh, little exclusive start uh, stuff. I'm still actually trying to figure out. I think I just figured it out. Ah, the box is magnetically sealed though, like the uh, exploding, uh, exploding kittens. So we've got a rule book, which unfolds. If that's all the rules, and even at that size font, some simple game. Um, this is in the vein of exploding kittens and stuff like that, um, where it's just a bunch of cards, simple, quick. Um, I believe the rules is get seven unicorns out and stop everybody else from doing that. So, yeah, like right off the front, back or front, we've got basic unicorn and unfair bargain. Um, as you can see, they're not all actually unicorns. Some of them are horses doing derby things. Some of them aren't even equestrian. Like, I know a narwhal is one. In fact, I believe... Nope, they changed it. The picture for the narwhal, or for the not safe for work originally, was um, a narwhal with a um, 18 plus or not safe for work sign over its, like, chesticle area. Like, whatever. <laughs> it was laying there like a mermaid. But, I'm gonna... So, we've got some... First off, some rule summary cards. It's nice that... So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know if that's the maximum number of players, best number of players, or just... We only printed eight if you want to play more. Learn the game. Or share. Um... We've got all sorts of different kind of cards here. Uh, they're kind of color coded. All the basic unicorn, no, not all of them, all but one is purple. Uh, and then there's a narwhal. You can see what I mean by censored chesticles or whatever. Um, but yeah, like yellow. Huh. Card tape unknown. Vinyl records and mixtapes only. Dances like nobody's watching. Yeah, th this is definitely like cute, silly comments, uh, kind of stuff. <clears throat> oh god, too many emojis. Seriously. Uh, but per it's still purple, basic. Then magical for blue, or blue for magical, I should say. We've got a bunch of different kind of things. Let me look through and pull some out. Um, Stabby the unicorn. This is definitely based off one of their shirts that says "I will cut you," and it's that same unicorn drawn differently, uh, shaped differently. Zombie unicorn. Um, chainsaw unicorn. Yeah, that's a chainsaw taped to its horn with a Jason mask, of course. Llamacorn. Americorn! Not actually a U.S. flag on the back. It's just red, white, and blue striped. Ugh. <laughs> Greed flying unicorn. Alright. 
won't drag this on any longer. Let's get on to the second pack of the base game. Mm. Eh. Slightly annoying to open. For all I know, there might be more summary cards in here. I think more than eight is... I think eight is more than enough. No, there's there's not more. Um, no. Green look like effects. Uh, pandemonium! Sorry, I always love that word when it's made into a pun. Nanny cam? That's a little creepy. It's uh, You can't really see the stitches, but it's a stuffed animal unicorn. Um... Rainbow Main. I'm majestic. Extra tail. It's taped on with scotch tape. Let's see here. Summoning ritual. That's comical. Um, this was one of the uh, major cards that was talked about. There's multiple copies. Nine. Like, you know, a combination, or it's like nay, or something like that. But the point is, they're making more rapana off of the word nay, which is supposed, uh, which is basically what the sa is supposed to be the sound horses make. Um, and it's a denial card, and there's a lot of copies of it, and one super nice. Uh, there's some more basic unicorns. We've got um, Lumberjack kind of look, coffee drinking. And then there's some baby unicorns. I believe this was a stretch goal as part of the Kickstarter. These are not unique to my knowledge. They are just weren't originally in the game until people pledged a lot. All right, so next we'll go on to the first expansion. Um, now, mind you, the rest of these I won't be able to list as expansions or stuff because they're not labeled, but they're supposed to be mini expansions. Um, this is the only one that's clearly packaged as a expansion uh this isn't the first kickstarter game that i've gotten that's especially and the other one was card game or card based it wasn't actually a card game it was a role-playing game um made locally in fact um that had expansions that came out with the kickstarter shipment but um weren't labeled as separate expansions they were just here you go we're not doing the packaging for these right now we're just giving you the game which i'm fine with actually especially when it's not like a bunch of miniatures or a lot of pieces that need separate storage even if it's just all crammed into the box um super dungeon explorer did that as well they shipped you a box and they will be doing it for their kickstarter we've been waiting for over a year on now shame on you um shipped another box that was of their mimic or as they um i don't remember what they called in mimics it was something different uh boo booties like oh surprise i have teeth but i'm also a treasure chest so booty uh i don't know why i'm slicing this open when there's definitely a um uh, there was a thing wrapped around it. Uh, gravity. All right. Um, let's see here. I'm going to keep this safe for work, so I'm going to only show stuff that looks like safe for work. Uh, ooh, a couple cards stuck together right to begin with. Uh, uh, no tearing or minimal tearing. Good. Um, yeah, new baby unicorns. One with a grenade, one with a shotgun, one with its head upside down. Um, wow. Yep, not showing that one. Stoner unicorn. If you consider stoners not safe for work, seriously, move on. Not my kind of thing, but move on. Uh, nope, nope, not showing. It says single unicorn. I'm not showing the image. Um, yep, oh, <laughs> straight but curious unicorn, <laughs> cult leaner unicorn, I'm laughing because of the punch bowl, or punch jug, that's great, yep, and yeah, this is still safer, safer work, but not in concept, naked narwhal, 
thinking and saying what I was before. Um, yep, yeah, no, no. Mm -mm. Yeah, no, no, no. Mm, yeah, definitely not. Screw, marry, or kill is a card. They don't say screw. Oh, no. That's a product in real life. I'm not showing that. Nope. Nope. Their knives are hell nigh. Nah, bitch. Uh, nah, motherfucker. Yeah, I don't mind saying things, but yeah, I'm not showing those. And another two cards sticking together. In fact, they look like the optional rules. Oh, these ones are really stuck. If I didn't have my nails the way I do, this would be hard. It's two copies. But it's optional drinking rules and optional stripping rules. Yeah, definitely a lot more not safe for work than um, exploding uh, kittens. Uh, I approve. Next up, I believe this is the dragon expansion. Yes, it was a dragon specific expansion. Sadly, that's the only other one that I remember, but we'll see. So yeah, these are just like flimsy, tear open, uh, clear packages. Uh, but we've got Unicorn with a Dragon Tattoo, uh, their new basic, Dragon Cosplay Unicorn, that's adorable. Dragon Slayer Unicorn, Dragon Tamer Unicorn, this was the image they actually used for the expansion. Um, Dragon Rider, Dragon Unicorn, mm, yeah, there, there, there's your crossing world. Dragon's Breath, Dragon's Fire, Dragon's Curse, Dragon's Blessing, Nay, Foul Beast! Sorry, I keep forgetting my camera's standard here. And there's four of those, so that's all of that. Uh, again, all the same type of artwork. Um, I don't know if there's anything that actually labels them. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay, um, for those of whom that are curious, because these cards look like they have nothing, the star portion of a star down here is color coded it's uh green for this set black for the not safe for work and there isn't one for the base so for those of whom that are like me that want to be able to just mix this stuff together but also separate it so that sometimes people don't want to mix them together all right next um i don't know if this is just more cards because it looks like a lot of repeats of stuff from the base. Oh, no, no, no. No, this might be the Kickstarter exclusive cards. Um, for one. Or there are a bunch of mini expansions thrown together. We've got the Unicorns of the Apocalypse. Unicorn of Death. Unicorn of Pestilence. I always love a Plague Mask. Unicorn of War? I'm on fire. Unicorn of Famine? That looks awesome. And then the actual Unicorn of Apocalypse effect card. Um, but let's see here. We've got Extremely Fertile Unicorn, Magical Kitten Corn, more zombie unicorns, the Extremely Destructive, Llamas, Angels, Unicorn Phoenix. If this was in the base deck, sorry, I didn't cover it. Um, and the extra copy ones are labeled as well, so you can still separate them and have just the base game. Um, these are red. Heavenly Smite. <laughs> Overpopulation. Let's just put them out into space. Plague of Death. Oh, there's an adorable little mouse in its eye. Fire and Brimstone. Zombie Apocalypse. And Llama Apocalypse. This was one of the images that they showed on the, um... They, they used the artwork a lot to pitch this game and be like, Hey, buy this! Alright, two more, folks. We got one more in this plastic wrapper. Um, alright. And this looks like the extra magical one. Um, ho a horse with an ice cream cone. Of just a horse. Um, 
You didn't even see a little bunny. Look, Mom, I'm a unicorn. <laughs> I was expecting some quote like, no, no, it's not. Innocent. Uh, glitter corn, unicorn rainbow princess. That's the tiniest unicorn. Aww. Adorable flying. Oh, my cousin will love. Or no, no, that's Corky's. I know a lot of people who will love this. Uh, magical pug corn. Or puggy corn. Cute attack. Sharing is caring. Uh, unicorn nap. Aww, he's doing a bunch of little kitties and puppies. Tiny hooves. Uh, cake for everyone! It's showing cupcakes, but really they're the same thing. Get over it. <laughs> My kid. <laughs> nah, thank you. And two more baby unicorns. If this card would be used as a sacrifice, destroy or return to your hand. And destroy uh, it uses it to be sacrificed destroyed or returned to your hand return it to the nursery instead i don't know what the nursery is but whatever i don't know the rules of this game at all i bought this purely on the fact that i love the what these guys uh, what this company does and honestly it wasn't expensive either um there were plushies associated with this i couldn't afford them but also though this is the same plushies that are on their basic website um and then we have the original bonus cards. Uh, it came in an actual Ziploc bag. Um, these were the original cards that were added to the game for the Kickstarter. These were not stretch goals. They were just, look, you got the Kickstarter version. This was actually a slight controversy because one version came with two, one version came with another, one version, or another two, and one version came with one. Um, and they just blatantly went, no, we're sorry, we're canceling all of those, you are automatically getting, or they, they changed it so it was a lot easier to get all of them. Um, and as I like game components, I made sure to get all of them to begin with, and paid a little extra, and then save, and then save some, and I think actually it turned into the original amount I paid, ended up being what the whole thing costs. Um, but we've got Eternal Youth Unicorn, the horniest unicorn, yeah, I kind of didn't want to show that one for the same reason the other, but I couldn't help it. Um, Unicorn of the Cosmos! Legendary Flying Unicorn. Yep, you're definitely legendary if you can ride a dragon and not get eaten. And Proudest Unicorn. Difficult to see because it's uh, black on a mostly black background. All right. That looks like everything, unless I missed something in this pile of stuff here. Here, because it's not counting this as an expansion. It's four separate expansions plus the base game. Uh, it's a lot. I can't wait to play this. Uh, I might do a quick how to play or a review for it if I get around to it. Uh, hopefully, the game will be more commonly released. I think it already was planned for that. But regardless, um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry I went on so long with it. Um, if you did, feel free to press the like button. If you didn't like this video, oh, uh, go ahead and press that dislike button. But please try to leave a comment as to why. Uh, even if it was, this video was too long. You should have broken it up. Um, I honestly didn't think I'd be here for nearly 20 minutes. Um, if you want to leave a comment in general, feel please feel free to. Ooh, and if you want to see more like this, be it uh, my unboxing videos, uh, my board game overview videos, or if I ever get around to them, <laughs> my hopefully upcoming how to play videos, like I said, I might do with this one. Um, regardless, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. -bye.